Let me see what I go on. So you know, you know those ones, Julius, yeah? I reckon you put them outside. Hello, Debbie. Put this outside, bro. Jackie, what's going on, Jack? Jack? Jackie! Jonathan, what's going on? We're over Julius right now, you know. Julius got some liner right now. Julius got some liner right now. We at Julius right now. So, a nice young lady is reaching out to Julius and he's getting a, he's got a nice liner. So, I'm going to try and see if I can give you guys like a quick video of it. So, give us a second while we, we, we sort out this movement here. Hold this, bro. Put this up there. Yeah, go, 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 go that way. Hold on, guys. Oh, bloody hell. Come this way. <laughs> that going to work there. We tried to move around a few things here. So, put it up there. Press it on there for now. See? It should be all right. Can this fit? So what we're doing, a nice young lady has given... So, let me flip this thing around. A nice young lady has given Julius this year. Right? Lynn, what's her name? You remember her name? If you don't remember her name, you, 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 I'm going to roll you like this, this liner. Yeah, so a nice young lady has reached out to him, give him this beautiful piece of liner here. So, we're going to look to like set it up and see if we can... Because I think it's big enough to fill out everywhere. You know what I mean? It's quite a lot, as you can see. It's quite a lot in there. Phone, phone, come on. So as you can see there, it's got quite a good amount of roll in it. What's the latest name, Julius? I can't believe you can't remember her name. I, I know her name is Lynn. Her name is Lynn. Oh, that's horrible. That, that just really bad. That I can't even remember her name. Anyway, the beautiful young lady has given him a piece of lino. So the only thing left to do now, yeah? Holy bro, put this up on the bed. The only thing left to do now it's basically put that up there as well, and all the shoes and that. So the basically thing left to do now is go to a carpet shop, see if we can find somebody that can come and fit it. Julius, did your pastor said that he can fit it? Um, my friend, if he's one of his does, can do it. I'm just waiting for a response. So Julius got, got said he think that he's got somebody that can fit it. So he's just going to wait for confirmation from the person. That flooring, Mommy Beer has given that flooring for his bathroom. So that needs to fit in his bathroom. So we're waiting on... That just need it. I need... With, with the floorboard and the carpet in the bathroom, I just need to do the carpet and that around the toilet. You what now? I don't speak... What, what kind of language is that? I don't speak that language. Start again. Basically, in the bathroom, yeah. it all fits. But I just need to cut around the, cut around the toilet and shave a bit off the bottom so it, it fits in yeah. in the gap yeah. so what is it that you need a special tool just a coping saw what the hell is a coping saw the fuck what i never know you got saw that's called coping saw what what does it needs to cope or something what what what, what why is it called that because it's a because it's a thin sword basically what regular sort of swords can't do in the corners yeah i can be able to do with this coping saw Okay, so Julius is basically saying that he needs a saw called a coping saw. I think this saw is on tablet or medication or something because I don't know why they call the saw a coping saw. Cope. Co okay, so anyway, he's saying that he needs a coping saw to do the edges and all these bits, bits, bits that he needs to do if he trims the wood. So that's the wood for his bathroom from Mommy Beer. Mommy Beer has gave him, give him those wood for his bathroom, right? They're quite lovely as well, isn't it? Right? Very thin. So bring, 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 open your bathroom, bro. Open your bathroom, because I don't know about this coping saw business. Right? I need coping myself. Right? I need a bit of attention. I need to cope myself. So, okay. So if you take those out, take those, those things out. Take out that bucket there, bruv. 
bro. Right? This, this saw sounds like it's on medication. Whatever saw he needs to get. Yo, mommy beer. This kind of nice, you know. Okay. So, that comes up that way. Is that way? It's too long to go the next way, innit? Get loads of them. Go get more. Go get more. Because we're going to pretty it up. Go get more quickly. And don't fall over. Because we got work to do. All right? So Julius Pasta has come down. Julius Pasta has come down. Yeah, lay them nice beside each other. Right? Julius Pasta has come down and bring Julius loads of shopping and stuff like that. See? So make me see if we can sort something out now. Right? I think it goes that way. So this one. Hold that over my head. See? I think you found one in the door. Okay, so. Oh, bloody hell. We need a new door. I just kicked off Julius' door a while ago. So I think we need a new door. Right? So this one, I think that slots in there. Like that. Hey, mate, I could do this and you pay me, you know? I could actually do this and you pay me to do it. Because I'm getting it done right now. Yeah. I'm a legend, I am. Now you don't come to the problem. Huh? Now you don't come to the problem. No, I'm gonna come to the problem. Yeah. Well, when you come to the problem, we go over it, mate. Bloody yeah. hell, I can do this, you know. I should start doing some flooring job, mate. Mate, I actually start doing some flooring job. Yo, man's big in the game right here. So, oh crap. So now we need to do a little step there, yeah. right? So that's that. Careful, careful. Okay, so let me see what I'm going to listen. Okay, so so people, look at that. Okay, so look from there, right to there. Look at that massive difference, right? How much you got left? So you got that one. So bloody hell, I'm gonna take up flooring. After I leave your house, I'm going to go rent a book, get a book, and start reading up on the finishing touches, what I need to get. What's the saw called again? Coping saw. A coping saw. Yeah. So I need a coping saw. I need a coping hammer. I need a coping pliers. I need a coping screwdriver. Yeah? The only reason why you need a coping saw... Wait, let, let, let him tell you, because he's saying the only reason why you need a coping saw. So let's see what he's saying. So basically... Speak up, speak up, speak up, because they can't hear you. Basically, you need it. I only need it to... Cut an angle out from there, and the coping saw does that. Yeah, because I can able to twist the blade in a coping saw. In a normal bl in a normal saw, I able to turn the blade. No, <laughs> Manda, Mandy is saying you need an ox saw. You don't need no bloody ox saw, do you? You need a coping saw. Yeah. Mandy, are you not listening? We need a coping saw, not a bloody ox saw. Hacksaw can't bend, hacksaw can't twist to, to certain angles where you say you can twist to 90 degree angles and 60 degree angles and all that kind of angle. Yeah. Yeah. A, a hacksaw, if I was just ripping, if I was ripping down straight. Yeah. Or ripping across. Yeah. Who yeah. teach you to do this? I don't carpentry at college. You don't carpentry? Yeah. And you have the floor over here sitting on? And you don't go out and ask people for a coping saw? Bloody coping saw, I can't understand it. Anyway, yeah. Julius said he's done carpentry in school, right? So now, he's saying that the only thing he needs to do to fit the flooring, he needs a coping saw to, to, to cut out the board to get the angle. Right? I've got a machete. You don't want to use a machete? Can't we use a machete to hack it out? No. It will spoil it, innit? Yeah. Okay, so, we've got enough wood to do the floor. Yeah? yeah? So what are you going to do when you come to this end here? Are well, you going to leave it like that or are you going to put some kind of strip down or something? There's... Two things I can do. Okay, the boss. Listen, the boss said there's two things he can do. I can cut off half the timber and put and put it there and put it underneath and get a strip. Yeah. Or I can get a big enough strip to to just stay there, hold it there. Yeah. Okay, and then you're gonna put. Are yeah. well, you gonna put something out here? Yeah. To, to hold it yeah, in place. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 So Julia says that. That looks nice, quite nice, I, I must say so. That does look quite nice. Seeing? So, so the next step is the coping saw. Yeah. So once you get the coping saw, you can do it yourself. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go. Let, let, let's, how much pieces you got left? Mommy Beer, thank you very much. 
He still got two pieces, so that is perfect. That's two, that, that, that is perfect. He still got two pieces over here. And then he's got two pieces out here. So that is the perfect amount, Mommy Bear. Thank you very much. See? So now we're going to go back to the lino, right? So Julius, here we go now. Take out these boxes. Hey, hey, hey people, wait. We're going we're gonna to roll out the lino to see if it's enough. Right? So give us a second. Oh, what, what's going on here? What's all this gadget gadget? I don't need any gadgets. See? So... We're going to roll out the line up quickly to see if it's stretched to the correct distance that we want it to go. See? Julius, know this one here. Tilt it, tilt it towards me. Mind me back, mind me back, because I got bad back. Right? So, put it this way, you put it in the corridor there. Yes. So, me got a bad back, people, so be patient with me. Right? Be very patient with us. So we're going to pull out the line up to see, make sure that it fits. And it, it is enough. We're going to try something here. Bear with us. Be, be, be patient with us. We're only young. We're young and we try to do this thing right. So Julius, if that goes like that, that's all right there. See? So get a knife quickly. Get a knife quickly so we can roll it out. So, yeah, hold on, pull it, pull it in the middle. Pull, pull. Come this way, come this way. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Nice, nice, nice. Just drop it there. See? Push this right out there. Give me the door, give me the door. We're working on something here, give us a second. Yes, so we get a nice, nice piece. Lynn, I think her, her name is Whittingham, Whittingham, or something like that. Whittica. Whittica. Uh, I, I don't bloody know, that's why I keep asking you, because I can't remember. I know her name is Lynn something, but I can't remember the rest of her name. I think it's Whittingham or something. Anyway, Miss Lynn, you know who you are, darling. Yeah, so Julius, yeah? You know the table. I think we should move the table as well, you know. Guys, hold on. We're going to move the table. Yeah? Give us a second. Yeah, people. My neighbor. My neighbor pulled a gun on me this morning. My neighbor. I was outside doing miracle skit. And the neighbor went in his house. Went in his house. And come back out with a bloody gun. Almost, what's your telly? Bloody hell. What's your telly? Holy crap on a cracker. Holy smokes, we almost lost the telly then, right? So, my neighbor only went to have a little wash outside because I did say that, I did say that, I did say, that, I, I, oh, for bloody hell. Whithouse, Lynn Whithouse, I think that's the one. Anyway, I was doing a little video outside and, and my neighbor only went in his side his house, a little white old man, right? He's about 70, right? Went in his, his house, stand, stand outside there, and, and bloody come back out, pointing a gun at me, telling me to get off his roof, tell, and, and it's not even his garage, telling me to get off his garage, plug, plug out, plug out, telling me to get off his garage and all sort of thing, you know what I mean? And, eh? What's the matter? I plug out the freezer as well. That's all right, bro. Plug out everything, we're plugging out everything. So it was bloody mental this morning. Oh la la, wrong way, wrong way. So, if you guys kind of stay there. We're trying to, okay, Julius, tell you what you do, because mommy bear bring this TV from far. So if you take off the TV, rest it on the table up there, yeah? Plug out what's need to plug out there, yeah? Pull out this one as well. You can fix it back up in a bit. Pull it from the TV, yeah? yeah. Okay, so bring, oh bloody hell, what did you mash up? Holy crack on a cracker. Holy and crap. And I dropped. You got it? Yeah. What's that? Antenna. Oh, bloody hell, you broke the antenna. Okay. So come with me. Come with me, come with me, come with me, come with me, come with me. Okay, that's there. See? So, now, one more step to go. Just move the fridge, and then we've got ignition. 
right? So Julius, yeah. you know because you plug this fridge out, is there anything in it? Yeah. That's all right, that can keep. So just slide it, slide it, don't shake it too much. Okay. So we're gonna have to put it towards the, towards the kitchen. All our people, we're coming. Slide, slide. <laughs> Okay, so that's out the way, right? So now, right, Julius, bring it this way, Julius. Yeah, so, okay, go over, over, roll it out like you're spreading the bed, and a nice young lady is coming to lie on it. So we need it to be nice and clear. Oh y'all. Hold on people, any minute now. Oh bloody hell, my back. Oh, I'm getting old. Push up. Push it up right up. Yeah, do this side for me, bro. Please. Let me get off of it first. Oh, I thought it would be bigger, you know. Oh, bloody hell, I'm getting old, man. I just feel my, bra my back crooking a while ago. I feel like 78, maybe just about 80, right? So, it doesn't look too bad, does it? No. So, drag it up there, yeah? Drag it right up, yeah? That's it. We can, we can go and get a young lady to come over here later on, and we have a nice cup of tea with her, right? So I reckon what's gonna happen, you're gonna need the next piece. Because if that's fit, can you guys see what's going on? So bring it right up to the wall, yeah. So just bring it like that, yeah, and just kick it in there like that. See? Yeah. So that's like that right there. See? So people, that's what it looks like. Turn it, turn it round the other way. Oh, bloody hell. Do you know how long it takes us to do this way? I think if we turn it round the other way, it won't fit all the way across. So this is the longest way. This is the, the opposite way. Oh, what do I bloody say? So if we did turn it across, it won't fit the whole coming across. We'll have big gaps, leave out. Leave out. Am, I, am I right saying that? Because Julius is here as well. So what we have done, we've turned it long way so it goes across because the, the, the room is very wide. I think he should stand here to stand here. So, they can so okay, so Julius said to stand here. So, so if you turn it around. If, you hear what he's saying? If you turn it around, it will probably just end up to here. Or like here. This much. Should we turn it around just to show them? Okay, you hold, you hold this. I'll flick it round. But remember me, my back. Hold it, hold it. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So stand, stand there. Right? And then. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, she said, turn it around, right? Yeah. Hold my back. We are right in it. We were right in it. Yeah. So. We're not mad after all, is it? Nah. You can see that we're saying. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, cracks. Okay. So, whoever tell us to turn it around, gonna get a spanking? Okay, so. Whoever told us to turn it around is going to get a spanking, right? So what we've done now, we turn it around, right? Can you see that gap over there? Right? That's the gap that left out, left out when we turn it around, turn it the next way, right? So that big gap there is going to need to fill up. So uh, maybe what can happen as well, right? What can happen as well? 
he can bring it as far up up to where he is right oh mate that person might have an idea that person yeah might be right. but what i'm saying you can cut off there what i was thinking to cut off that strip and fill over there yeah, is right. that what you're thinking yeah. and then just run it halfway in the room yeah. so only your living room will got the liner yeah. is that what you're saying yeah. but at the end of the day we did flip it the next way where did it come to when we turned it the opposite way a while ago where did it stop It stopped there. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, this side that left out, Julia's saying the extra bit from here because it, we're going to bring it up to the door up here and then just get the next piece to fill out where his bed is. Is that right? Yeah. To fill out under where his bed is. Right? Melanie, we're going to switch it back around now because we're going to give you a spanking because we're not sure if you're right. So we're going to fit. So look at, look at it there. Right? You see that gap that left out? Melanie. Yeah? Because you're going to get a spanking after this. Right? That gap that left out. We didn't have that gap before. Right? So we, now we're going to flip it back around. Right? So you guys can see for yourself the difference. Right? And then you guys can make the majority vote on which is better. Okay. So hold that now, bro. Right? Because I'm going to have to get a Zimmer frame after this. I'm going to my back. I'm going to need a wheelchair. And you're going to have to push me around in it. So, so don't yeah. be laughing and helping, encouraging them. You're going to be pushing me around in that wheelchair when I'm done over here. I don't want that. You don't want that? I don't mind that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go back a little bit. I'm bloody like a man. That's it, my son. That's it, lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, lift, lift it up, lift it up, yeah. Lift it up. We probably, you probably want to leave it down until the people have come, Julius. Do you mind? Or you think you're going to ruin it? No. You don't want to leave it down? So, Julius. Yes. Six or one. And half does yeah, the other. Yeah. Watch it come yeah, off of it. Yeah. Just go back up there where you was. Yeah, just stand yeah. up there so they can see. Yeah. Is in trouble now lynn you're in trouble now right it fit this way better right the only difference is that it comes about there right but you can still do the same thing yeah exactly but i think fitting it that way is better because we got that mount on the wall could fit up to the door up there so if we cut off that bit that's up on the wall yeah then you can use it to fit there Oh, thank you, Jessica. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know the funniest thing. Remember, I'm black as well. I don't want to get shot in my ass. Sorry for my language, right? But I didn't want to phone the police. Pull in that door, bro. Pull in that door, please. Yeah. So, can you see my eyes? I was that angry this morning. My eyes was out my head like that this morning. When the man, when I went outside, I was only on there. And then the neighbors, as you can see in the vet neighbors, in, oh, as you can see in the video, the neighbors start shouting me, telling me, there's a guy behind me, the guy's behind me, the guy's behind me. I'm going, what? You what? And then she's going, the guy behind you, behind you, the guy's behind you. So the only thing I've done now is look behind me, and the man is only behind me, pointing a gun in my back. Right? So when I turned around, I'm, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? I'm just having a simple wash. Right? So apparently what he said to me to get off the roof, get off the garage roof. So I'm telling, I'm not on the roof, I'm on the wall, I'm standing on the wall. So then he says to me, he says to me, oh, 
get off the roof, so it's going to shoot you. What? See? So straight away, I said to myself, do not react in a certain way. Do not do it. Do not do it. Because that's the devil trying to get to me. And the devil trying to break my spirit. So I'm there now. He, 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 he stopped pointing the gun at me when I says to him, oh, so, so, so what you got a gun for? What you got a gun for? So straight away, he, start, he stopped pointing the gun at me and start pointing it down because he's seen that I look up and I start telling people that my man's got a gun. You get what I'm saying? So straight away now, he's put down the gun and then he's, he start chatting to himself and went back inside. This guy is about 70, right? He's a white guy. He's about 70 year old, over 70. He walks with a cane, right? So anyway, boom, bang, said so, said so, done. Come off the roof, right? Went upstairs. My blood pressure was high. So I went upstairs, take a few tablets for my blood pressure, try to calm myself down. And then I said to myself, you know what? I was going to let it go. But then I said to myself, yo, you know what? You need to call the police. So boom, I jump on the phone, call the police. The police take at least, at least 20 minutes to come, right? My ass could be on fire. My ass could be bleeding out. I could have been shot in my ass or shot in my eye or shot somewhere that I'm bleeding out, right? So anyway, boom, they take about, they take about 20, 25 minutes to come till I'm looking through the door wondering where is this, all these police, what, where, 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 what's going on? So anyway, finally has come, the neighbor from across the road has messaged me saying the guy has, has, he's been to prison and he's been in trouble before and he's attempted murder and all that kind of thing. So I'm thinking, okay, see that still don't know, give you no reason to point gun at me. See, if you have a problem with me, say to me, yo, you know what, young man, please, can you come off the wall? That's all it takes. If he did just come out and said, young man, please come off the wall or come off the garage, that's easy. It's not even his garage. It's not even his garage. But I think what it is, me as a typical black guy that just standing there doing what I'm doing, I don't know if it was embarrassing to him or he didn't like what I was doing, but... His decision straight away was to come out and point a gun at me. When all I was doing is something innocent. If I was trampling on the roof or trying to break the roof or on top of the roof, dancing and carrying on like a, a wooligan, then I can understand. Do you understand? But straight away, he comes out pointing gun at me and telling me to get off the roof else he's going to shoot me. Right? Now, there's two ways of looking about this thing. Right, because I could take it the next way and I could start doing things that I know I shouldn't be doing. Right? So the best option was for me to go upstairs, take my blood pressure tablet, yeah, call the police, and then the police turns up. When the police turns up, it was two beautiful young lady. Right? They didn't know that where I was going because they've been given wrong information. So I seen them crossing the road. So I shout out, excuse me, are you looking for 49? See, so they straight away, they says, yeah. So they come upstairs, they came in my flat, and they start saying to me, oh, what happened? So I let them know that I'm, I, I was doing a little skit, as I normally do, to brighten people's day, and then this man threatened me with a gun, right? So I then proceed to take the video out my pocket that's on my phone and show them the video. Now, these police, two police, was so in stitches because they seen the video, and they says to me that they didn't even want to get their hair frizzy because the rain was falling and I'm, I, and I'm outside having a wash, right? So basically, they were saying that they didn't even want to get heat wet in the rain coming out the car because they thought their hair was going to get frizzy. But they came in, they talked to me, they was very polite, they was very nice. They, they talked to me, asked me what has gone on, do I want to press charges, do I want to do this? So I says to them, no, I'm leaving it in your hands. I don't want to press charges because I'm not about that. I don't want to ruin anybody's day, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let it go because I'm the type of person, I'm always thinking of making somebody happy. I don't like to see people sad. So I'm about making people happy, uplifting people, motivating people. That's what I'm about, right? So I'm not going to make because of one person, it ruin what I'm doing. Do you get what I'm saying? Because in your life, in life, you're always going to get people that criticize you, people that, 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 that speak bad of you, people that neglect you, people that look down on you, people that just dare to bring you down. You get what I'm saying? So you have to believe in yourself and know what's the best solution for your problem. You get what I'm saying? Because only you can decide your destiny, right? Somebody else can't come and decide my destiny for me. I have to know what's right from what's wrong and choose the correct the correct procedure to, 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 the, to the problem that I have. 
You get what I'm saying? So I'm not going to let people come now and drain my energy because I'm here for a purpose. And the purpose that I'm here for is to enlighten people and brighten their day and help to motivate and help who, those who I can help, right? That's my purpose, nothing else. You get what I'm saying? So with what happened this morning, I just kick it to the back of, I just push it to the back of my head already. Basically, I forget about it because once you keep something like that with you, you never will move on and it will never motivate you to do anything else. You get what I'm saying? So when these problems occur, what we can do as human beings, try and get rid of it as quickly as possible. Don't let it stay with us and drain our energy and try to bring us down. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's one of them situations where I'm okay now and I give God thanks because, as I said, I travel with God. So nobody can take my shine. I'm shining right now. I'm, I'm, I'm shining like a diamond right now. So nobody's going to drain my energy. Whether pink, white, purple, blue, or yellow, nobody's going to drain my energy. Neither black, nobody's going to drain my energy. I'm here to do a job, and that's what I'm doing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, let's see again about this carpet now. So now, what we reckon is going to happen, Julius said he's going to get somebody to come and fit the carpet. He, he thinks he's no one of his friends that can come and fit the carpet. See? So now, what's going to happen is that they're just going to um, chill out and wait for his friend to get back to him. We're gonna need a next piece of carpet. We're gonna need a next piece of lino to put up that side, right? Once we get a piece of next lino to put up that side, yeah, then boom, bang. You get what I'm saying? So it's one of them thing. You know the funniest thing, um, Taylor, I, I don't know if it's an ear gun, I don't know what type of gun it is, but even if it's an ear gun, right? Even if it's an ear rifle, man could have shoot out my eye, Right? It, I don't know what an ear rifle look like. I never angled guns before. Because, you know, there's only police that carry guns in England and bad people. Right? So I never hold any guns or anything like that. You understand? So I don't know. Once I seen the, the, big, ass, the big ass gun that he's got, whether it's ear rifle or whatever it is, it's, it's longer than my leg. Right? It's bloody longer than my leg. Right? So even if he, it was an ear rifle or whatever it is, he could have shot up my eye with it. He could have shoot me somewhere that he could have shoot me in my head. It could, could have caused brain damage. You get what I'm saying? He could have taken out one of my eye. And now I got one eye. I can't see to help Julius with his floor. You get what I'm saying? So anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I was in the rain. I think I'm going to catch up cold. Anyway, we're going to sort that out. Julius is going to need to get an next piece to fill that bit there. Yeah. Julius is going to need to get that bit there. See and then fill out that bit, and then we can take it from there. You get what I'm saying? So that's the only bit that left out now to do, right? That bit over there can cut off and use to fill from this gap here, from this gap all the way over here. See, so half of it is done, right? So we're going to go to the glue shop and see if we can get somebody, carpet shop, to see if we can get somebody to come and fit it. You know what I mean? And then we just take it from there. But thanks to everybody, right? I don't think Julius need anything else now more than the finishing touches of the flooring and that's it, right? Just the finishing touches of the floor and that's it. And then it's good to go. You get what I'm saying? Because it's quite lovely, isn't it? Yeah. That's beautiful, that is. You can have a nice little picnic on there, you know. You know, get a nice little bird to come around, yeah? And you have a nice cup of tea, right? And make a few cucumber sandwiches and stuff like that. All right, stop playing with yourself. Take your hand out your front, because it looks like you're playing with yourself, you know. Yeah? So, yeah. KB, what's going on, brother? Hey, KB, you did a show the other day, bro. That show was mental. That show was mental. Yo, you know what? The wall is clean and nice, you know, and it goes nice with the carpet. You get what I'm saying? It's nice with the liner. You know what? Yeah. Huh? It's still nice, isn't it? Should we have a party when it finish? We can have a party and invite everybody on Facebook, you know. Yeah? Put your bed in the toilet and all that kind of thing. Or put your bed outside on the balcony. And we just have a, have, have a, have a house party in here. Hey, guys, listen. We're going to put the flyers out for Julius. Julius is going to have a house party for everybody. Right? The flyers is going to go out next week. On the bill, on the list, KB is going to be charity due. Right? So KB is going to be on the DJ list. Right? DJ Money on the DJ list. Yeah, and Master Key is going to be on the DJ list, right? So, there he is. 
when once the flat finish we're gonna have a house party right we're gonna have a house party kb is gonna be the top the top what you call it a top dj when you said the top um thingy uh you know when you're having a um a venue and you're having a, a dance and you book certain people what they call it okay kb is going to be the headliner right kb is going to be the top headliner for this house party right so straight away yeah kb is there you know we're going to get at least five thousand people right i don't know where you're going to put some of them some of them going to have to stand on your bed right if you can't get rid of the bed some going to have to stand on the bed some going to have to be on the cupboard top right some going to be have to be on the table people is going to be hanging through the window right people is going to be hanging off off the balcony right we're going to have to rotate it as well we're going to have to rotate it because 5000 people is coming cuz KB knows about 10000 people right he's got like over 15000 followers on Facebook right so if he invite a couple of his closest which is going to be 5000 right i know about 200 people right then you probably know about 20 people you get what I'm saying? So that's the maths there right there is gone crazy. That maths already is gone crazy. That calculation is gone crazy. Right? So what's gonna happen? Because we've got a big front 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 outside there, some people are gonna have to stay out here, right? And this music from outside. Now, what's gonna happen when it reaches with party is gonna start at nine o'clock, right? When the party reaches twelve o'clock, see? So we're gonna do a three hour rotation, right? So if we got a hundred hundred people in here. Right, we're gonna rotate them when it reaches 12 o'clock. Put these ones that was in here, the hundred that was in here, we're gonna put them outside in the car park. Right? We're gonna put a speaker out there and then we can take hundred from the car park and bring them inside. Do you get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So we're gonna keep rotating it. We're gonna keep rotating it, right? What we're gonna do as well, because me and you are poor and we're on benefit, right? We're gonna collect two pounds to come through the door. Right? And we're gonna get some cider and black. We can't buy any. We can't buy any Ciroc, right? We can't buy any Ciroc. We can't buy any champagne, right? So only thing we're gonna be selling is cider and black, right? And calling those can beer, right? So once we get everything up and running, we're gonna sell can beer. We're gonna have a party in here, right? And everything gonna be quick, crisp. Yes. Yeah, so we we gonna we gonna send out the booking soon for for, for the party. Yeah. Hey, 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 Dan Infinity. Dan Infinity, big up yourself, you know. Big up yourself, Dan Infinity. Yes, yeah, so guys, look out for the flyers for Julius' party coming soon. When is your birthday, bro? The 5th of July. Oh, my days. His party, is, his birthday is the 5th of July, right? So, it's the 5th of July. You want everybody to come on the 5th of July. Okay, so he's saying the 5th of July, we're going to get the flooring done, right? We're going to get everything up and running. We're going to get some speaker in here. Right? As it says, KB4 is going to be our main headline act. Right? KB4 is going to be the top of the bill. Right? But because we can't pay him, it's going to be, have to be a charity thing. Right? So, boom. KB4 is going to be on the bill. Right? He's going to bring 5,000 people. Right? I'm going to bring... What? We got security already, you know. Look. We've got security. You think I'm joking? Look. Melanie is a security, bro. And Melanie knows lots of people. Anyway, let's go. So, KB is going to be our main line act. Right, he's gonna bring five thousand people. Right, some gonna be have to be in the car park because everybody can't hold in this little room. Right, so boom, some outside, some inside. As I said, the party is gonna start at nine o'clock. Right, so guys, if you come into the party, it's gonna be bring and share. Right, bring and share. Right, nobody bring alcohol because me and Julius is on benefit and we need to make a bit of money. So we're gonna be selling cider and black. We're gonna be selling Red Bull. We're going to be selling lemonade. We're going to be selling squash, right? We're going to be selling squash and we're going to be selling juice, right? Because we can't afford Ciroc. We can't afford champagne. We can't afford brandy. We can't afford Ray and Nephew. So we're going to be going the cheap option. Food. Yeah, but we don't care about the food because remember we are benefit, right? We don't have money to buy alcohol and then buy food. Right, so we're gonna do the most important one, the alcohol. Once everybody's drinking, right, we don't care about food, right? Because the rum will tell you that you don't need food till after you finish dancing. You get what I'm saying? That's why when people go out, they drink before they go out to feel merry, right? And after the club, then you see they go to the chicken shop and, and fish shop. But what we can do also, we can set up a little caravan outside, right, and sell some fish and chips from it, or we can sell some burgers. 
You get what I'm saying? So if you know anybody that have a little van, yeah, we can sell some burgers from outside. You get what I'm saying? For those people that outside, standing outside. Yes. So people, look out for the flyers coming out soon. Yeah, Julius' birthday party is going to be mental. What's going on? I can hear lots of screaming and sound and effects. This, 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 communi this community make me nervous. This community actually make me nervous. Anytime I hear a little sound outside, I'm jumping up and my blood pressure is going. Okay, KB is saying to me to sell, 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 sell food from my Jeep outside the caravan. But KB, you know what happened is though, yeah? I'm going to have to get somebody to come and do a valet on it, right? And I think I need to make it look blinging before I start selling anything on it, right? So, because we've got an open open driveway, right? Can you see the driveway out there, people? Right? That's the driveway. Watch out. I'm not myself. So that's the driveway out there. So that's where we're going to park a little van right there and sell the burgers and, and, the, and the sausage and the sausages from right there. See, and that's where we're going to sell it from. So all the extra people that KB is going to bring, yeah, all those people is going to be after out there in the parking lot. You get what I'm saying? That's plenty of room for 5,000 people. You get what I'm saying? So don't worry about anything. We're going to sort it out and we're going to get back to you guys. I'm going to let you guys go now. Okay. <laughs> KB said when people drunk, they eat from anywhere. Right? Can you cook? Yeah, can you cook? Which, which job are you going to do? Are you going to do security? Are you going to be making cocktails? What are you going to be doing? You can make cocktails? Go, go, go home. Go, go, go home. I forgot that he's in his house. I'm telling him to go home. Okay, Julius. So, people, we're going to try and fit back everything right now. So, Julius, so I can leave Julius alone. Yeah, the toilet queue is going to be massive. We've got a few neighbors that, can, that we, can, we can rent out their toilets. Right? We've got a few neighbors that we can rent out the toilets. Right? Cassie is one of our neighbors. Cassie can rent out her toilet. Right? I can rent out my toilet from across the road. Julius has already got a toilet. So there's three toilets straight away. But the, 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 to use the toilets is going to cost people about five pounds to use a toilet. Right? To use the toilet, I'm going to rent out my toilet. Cassie is going to rent out her toilet. Julius is going to rent out his toilet. So that's going to be like five pounds each to use the toilet. So people, make sure that when you come in, we've got a card machine as well that can take cards. So if you don't have cash, we can take cards, right? So just come. <laughs> Cassie swear a while ago. Cassie, please do not swear. Oh my God, she just swear a while ago and said, hell no. Yes. So people, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit, right? We're going to try and fit back this flooring. We're going to try and fit back this. We're, gonna, we're just going to put everything on the flooring and we'll see how it goes, right? Julia said, KB4 said he want lollipop in the toilet and, to and, and spray to smell sweet and all that kind of thing. You know, like them people in the clubs, that when you go to the toilet, they're spraying it, there's cologne, there's lollipops, there's, there's all these type of things. Oh, my God. Somebody's going to have to be the lollipop lady. Yeah, five pounds to piss. What do you think this is? We need, to we need to get people to clean it afterwards, right? Do you know how much is toilet roll right now? Do you know how much is toilet roll right now? Come on. Toilet roll. Some people are going to be in the toilet spending, spending a good 10, 15 minutes. Right? I'm going to be losing money then. You get what I'm saying? One minute in, one minute out. No longer. Right? Once you go in the toilet, you pay your five pound and you go in. One minute. You've got one minute to do what you need to do and get out. Because I'm going to be knocking the door. I'm going to be hunting you to get the hell out of the toilet. Right? So once you come to this party... I'm going to rent out my toilet, as I said. Julius is going to rent out. It's going to be five pounds to use the toilet, right? Don't think you're going to be in there over two minutes. One minute and you're out. So if you haven't finished shaking and you haven't finished doing what you're doing, you're going to have to pull your pants down your ankle and get the hell out. You, you, you're going to have to leave with your pants down your ankle and get the hell out because I'm not standing there to lose money. I'm here to make money, right? So at the end of the day, if you can't pay five pounds for one minute, you're going to have no chance. You're going to have to just wet yourself, 
right? You're going to have to just pee on yourself. You're going to have to just soil yourself. And then you're going to be all embarrassed. And then you're going to have to make your way home. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that, that infinity. Listen, that infinity, a proper food is going to cook. Some burgers, some sausages, some hot dogs, and them kind of thing. Yo, it's going to be two, it's going to be two, two sheets of toilet roll as well, right? So listen what's going to happen when you go in the toilet. When you go in the toilet, I'm going to hand you three square. Go get me a toilet roll. Let me show them what I'm on about, right? When you go in the toilet, I'm going to hand you three square of toilet rolls. You can't get past, can you? I tell you what, Julius, leave it, leave it, leave it. Come, come, come. Let me show them this. As a matter of fact, right? As a matter of fact. Save me as well. Save me as well. Can you see this? Can you see this? Listen, somebody's going to get rash on their butt. Yeah, somebody's going to get rash. But that's the way of the world, right? Can you see this? What I'm going to do as well, because this, this is quite lovely, right? This is quite lovely. So what I'm going to do, right? When you, when you pay me the five pound and you're going to use the toilet, right? You're going to get two square, right? This is two square. Now... If that's not enough for you to use, right? Look how big that is. Put it down on the ground. Oh my God, that is, that is amazing, right? That is amazing. So when you, go, when you, when you pay your five pound, I'm going to hand you these two square, right? And you're going to go in, do what you need to do in one minute, right? Do what you need to do. Either you need to drop anything, you need to lose anything, you need to let anything go. You're going to do it and you're going to get out in one minute. That's your two square, right? Because I don't want you blocking up my toilet. Right? So that's just two square, and then that's it. In one minute time, I'll be knocking. Hello, can it, can, time is up, time is up. Right? So straight away, right, I, I, I'm allowed, because it's my toilet, I'm allowed to come in and, and, and get you the hell out of there. You understand? No, 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 this is quite, I'm going to have, instead of the toilet rolls, because toilet rolls is very expensive, Right? And I want to be a good host. I want to be a good host. So if you, if, you, if you fluff up that, that's a lot. Right? That's quite a lot there. Now, see the difference. I'm going to show you something, you know. Watch the mats. Do the mats now, right? Julius, spread out that back. Spread. That's the size of that, yeah? Give me two rolls off there. Just two rolls. Let me show them that I mean business. And that they're very lucky that they'll be getting what they're getting. Right? Very lucky. Right? Because I shouldn't be doing this. And because it's my nice people. Now, look at that. I would have given you this two square to use for the five pound. Right? But because I'm a generous and I'm a nice guy, right? You're getting that big one there. Do you understand? No baby wipes. Baby wipes is too expensive. Right? So, when you pay the five pound to use the toilet, you will be getting this square, this big square, and not that square. Right? If you put them together, you can see the difference. Right? Can you see the difference? Right? That is beautiful, if, you, if I do say so myself. Right? That's a lot you're getting for your five pound and you're getting one minute to use the toilet. Right? So to me, that is an amazing deal. That is my deal is amazing. What would you say, Julius? That's a good deal, isn't it? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because there and then, boom, scratch this up. Right? Look at that. You can use that. You can get three wipes out of that, right? And your fingers are still safe. Nothing will come out on your fingers, right? Your fingers are still safe. You won't get any mess on your fingers, right? Now, you see how we roll that up? We roll that up. You still got more hanging off the end up there. You still got more coming off. You got some coming off down the end down here, right? So straight away, look at the difference now. Right? I need to wipe, my, wipe, wipe something. Look at this now. I, I squeeze it up, and this is all that I'm getting out of it. Now, this couldn't even dry a tear. Right? Look at it. You see, even when I press it down like that, it would not even dry a square. It, it, it wouldn't dry nowhere. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I went above and beyond now to give you the big boy. You get what I'm saying? The big boy. Look at that. Look, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Right? Fluffy, nice, and lovely. You understand? Yes. But anyway, look out for the flyers to come out soon. We're going to fit back Julius' house now, and then we're gonna, I'm going to head off. Right? So thank you, guys. 
I hope you have a nice evening. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. KB4, I'm looking out for part two of your show today. Right? KB, I'm looking for part two of your show today, fam, because you said it might continue till today. That's your words, not mine. Right? KB4, you said the party will continue today. So I think it's best that you start your, your part two today. You get what I'm saying? It's best that you start the part two of the show today. Okay, KB4. So check in, check in soon. I'll make sure I go online to see if you're there. Yeah. So that's Julius new flooring now. So we're going to put stuff on it. And we're going to fit it and see how we get on. So KB, KB, don't bother with that sign there that you're showing me. I don't know. Look at KB. Look, look put, 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 put this. Hold this there. This is KB telling me that he don't know. KB, what's this? What's this, KB? What's this mean? What is this? What is this, KB? Tell me exactly what you're trying to say. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. I think so. I hope so. At least I will try to do a show. Is that what this means? Huh? I, may, I, I might do a show, but I don't want to tell you. I might do a show, but I'm not even sure. I might do a show, but... I've got a few things to do first. I might do a show, but I, I just don't know. I, 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 it beats me. I don't. I, 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 I don't know money. I don't know. I think that's what he's trying to tell me. Money. I, I could do it later. I could do it now. I could, I, I could do it next week. I, I, I just don't know. What, what, what do you think the best option is, money? What this gesture means is that, okay, I'll think about it, but I just don't know. I, 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 I just, I, money, I just don't bloody know. It beats me. I, I, I don't know. You get what I'm saying? So, KB, I hope you do a show, brother. I hope you do a show, right? I will catch up with you guys soon, okay? God bless. I love you all, right? God bless. Catch up with you guys in a bit. Me and Julius is going to fit the floor now and find out what's the next, what's the next task. Okay. Oh God, KB is off again. He's off. I don't think he's well today. I don't, keep, I don't think KB is well today. Now look what he's doing. He's putting up a glass with a little, I put up a man with a little one eye glass, right? I think he needs to take his blood pressure tablets. I think something is definitely wrong with him, you know, because he's doing, sending all these emojis and we don't know what they mean. You get what I'm saying? He needs to let us know in layman terms. You get what I'm saying? Because he's pulling little, little stunts. I think he's trying to send a message, but he's not saying exactly what the message is. Who is this? Who is he thinking? He's thinking about it. I think he is thinking about it. I don't know who's, who's, what's going on here. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Hey, Claire, what's going on? What? What? Yo, brother. Yo. <laughs> I think man tuning on the wrong show, you know. Man sending me a video call and tuning on the wrong show. Big up yourself, my G. Whoever you are, big up yourself. Big up yourself. Yo, guys, catch up with you soon. All right. God bless. God bless. God bless.